BrainWise Presence. Primary 6, Science Quiz B, Part 3. Welcome, Curious Minds. Today we're exploring the wonders of science together with 20 awesome questions. Are you ready to become a science superstar? Let's go. Number 1. Which planet is known as the Red Planet due to its rusty, iron-rich soil? Again. Which planet is known as the Red Planet due to its rusty, iron-rich soil? The choices are A. Venus B. Mars C. Jupiter D. Saturn The correct answer is B. Mars Mars has a reddish-orange appearance because its surface contains a large amount of iron oxide, which is essentially rust. Number 2. The strong shaking of the ground caused by the sudden movement of rock along a fault is called what? Again. The strong shaking of the ground caused by the sudden movement of rock along a fault is called what? The choices are A. A volcano B. An earthquake C. A landslide D. A typhoon The correct answer is B. An earthquake. Earthquakes are caused by the release of stored energy in the Earth's crust when tectonic plates suddenly slip past one another. Number 3. Which of the following is a characteristic of most non-metals? Again. Which of the following is a characteristic of most non-metals? The choices are A. They are shiny and lustrous. B. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. C. They are brittle and dull. D. They are solid at room temperature. The correct answer is C. They are brittle and dull. Non-metals are typically poor conductors of heat and electricity, are not shiny dull, and are brittle they break or shatter easily when solid. Number 4. The protective layer of gases surrounding the Earth is called the what? Again. The protective layer of gases surrounding the Earth is called the what? The choices are A. Geosphere B. Hydrosphere C. Biosphere D. Atmosphere The correct answer is D. Atmosphere. The atmosphere protects life on Earth by absorbing ultraviolet radiation from the sun, warming the surface through heat retention, greenhouse effect, and reducing temperature extremes. Number 5. What type of rock is formed when existing rocks are changed by intense heat and pressure deep within the Earth? Again. What type of rock is formed when existing rocks are changed by intense heat and pressure deep within the Earth? The choices are A. Igneous rock B. Metamorphic rock C. Sedimentary rock D. Fossil rock The correct answer is B. Metamorphic rock. The word metamorphic means to change form. Intense heat and pressure can change an igneous or sedimentary rock into a new, denser metamorphic rock, like marble or slate. Number 6. A sea anemone is a marine animal. Some clownfish live safely among the anemone's stinging tentacles, which protects them from predators. The anemone feeds on scraps from the clownfish's meals. What type of relationship is this? Again. A sea anemone is a marine animal. Some clownfish live safely among the anemone's stinging tentacles, which protects them from predators. The anemone feeds on scraps from the clownfish's meals. What type of relationship is this? The choices are A. Mutualism B. Parasitism C. Commensalism D. Competition
The correct answer is A. Mutualism This is a classic example of mutualism. The clownfish gets protection, and the sea anemone gets food and cleaning. Both organisms benefit from the interaction. Number 7. In the human respiratory system, where does the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide take place? Again, in the human respiratory system, where does the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide take place? The choices are A. In the nose B. In the trachea C. In the alveoli of the lungs D. In the diaphragm The correct answer is C. In the alveoli of the lungs the alveoli are tiny air sacs in the lungs surrounded by capillaries. This is where oxygen from the inhaled air passes into the blood and carbon dioxide from the blood passes into the air to be exhaled. Number 8. What is the main source of energy for almost all ecosystems on Earth? Again, what is the main source of energy for almost all ecosystems on Earth? The choices are A. The moon B. The Earth's core C. The Sun D. Fossil Fuels The correct answer is C. The Sun The Sun provides light energy that producers, like plants, convert into chemical energy through photosynthesis. This energy then flows through the rest of the ecosystem. Number 9. Which instrument is used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of a substance? Again, which instrument is used to measure the acidity or alkalinity of a substance? The choices are A. Thermometer B. Barometer C. pH meter or pH paper D. Telescope The correct answer is C. pH meter or pH paper. The pH scale measures how acidic or basic a substance is. A pH meter gives a digital reading, while pH paper changes color to indicate the pH level. Number 10. Which of the following is a non-renewable resource? Again, which of the following is a non-renewable resource? The choices are A. Weaned B. Water C. Geothermal heat. D. Natural gas. The correct answer is D. Natural gas. Natural gas is a fossil fuel that was formed from the remains of ancient organisms over millions of years. Once we use it up, it cannot be replaced in a human lifetime. Great work so far! You're halfway to becoming a science whiz! Ready for the next questions? You've got this! Number 11. When a car speeds up, it is undergoing what? Again! When a car speeds up, it is undergoing what? The choices are A. Deceleration B. Constant velocity C. Acceleration D. Friction The correct answer is C. Acceleration Acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. This includes speeding up, slowing down, deceleration, or changing direction. Number 12. What type of rock is formed from the accumulation of sediments like sand, mud, and shells that are compacted and cemented together over millions of years? Again, what type of rock is formed from the accumulation of sediments like sand, mud, and shells that are compacted and cemented together over millions of years? The choices are A. Igneous rock B. Metamorphic rock C. Sedimentary rock D. Volcanic rock
The correct answer is C. Sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are formed from deposits of pre-existing rocks or pieces of once-living organisms that accumulate on the Earth's surface. Fossils are often found in these rocks. Number 13. The path an object takes as it revolves around another object in space is called its what? Again, the path an object takes as it revolves around another object in space is called its what? The choices are A. Axis B. Orbit C. Trajectory D. Rotation The correct answer is B. Orbit An orbit is the curved path typically elliptical, that a celestial body, like a planet or moon, follows around another due to gravity. Number 14. The asteroid belt is a region of space debris located between the orbits of which two planets. Again, the asteroid belt is a region of space debris located between the orbits of which two planets. The choices are A. Earth and Mars B. Mars and Jupiter C. Jupiter and Saturn D. Venus and Earth. The correct answer is B. Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid belt is a torus-shaped region in the solar system, located roughly between the orbits of the planets Mars and Jupiter, that is occupied by a great many solid, irregularly shaped bodies. Number 15. Which of these is an example of Newton's third law of motion action reaction? Again, which of these is an example of Newton's third law of motion action reaction? The choices are A. A book staying still on a table. B. A rocket moving upward by pushing gas downward. C. Pushing a heavy box is hard. D. A ball falls to the ground when dropped. The correct answer is B. A rocket moving upward by pushing gas downward. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The rocket pushes hot gas down action, and the gas pushes the rocket up reaction. Number 16. What is the term for saving energy by using less of it or using it more efficiently? Again, what is the term for saving energy by using less of it or using it more efficiently? The choices are A. Energy transformation B. Energy production C. Energy conservation D. Energy pollution The correct answer is C. Energy conservation Energy conservation means reducing energy consumption Simple acts like turning off lights when not in use are examples of energy conservation. Number 17. Which of the following celestial bodies produces its own light? Again, which of the following celestial bodies produces its own light? The choices are A. A planet B. A moon C. A star D. An asteroid The correct answer is C to star. Stars, like our sun, produce their own light and heat through nuclear fusion in their cores. Planets and moons are only visible because they reflect light from a star. 18. What theory, proposed by Alfred Wegener, suggested that continents were once joined together and have since drifted apart? Again, what theory, proposed by Alfred Wegener, suggested that continents were once joined together and have since drifted apart. The choices are A. Theory of Relativity B. Plate Tectonics Seed Continental Drift D. Big Bang Theory The 
The correct answer is C. Continental Drift The theory of continental drift was the precursor to the modern theory of plate tectonics. Wegener provided evidence that the continents were once a single supercontinent called Pangaea. Number 19. Which property of metals allows them to be drawn into thin wires? Again, which property of metals allows them to be drawn into thin wires? The choices are A. Malleability B. Luster C. Conductivity D. Ductility The correct answer is D. Ductility Ductility is a metal's ability to be stretched into a wire. Copper is a very ductile metal, which is why it's used for electrical wiring. Number 20. What is the primary disadvantage of burning fossil fuels for energy? Again, what is the primary disadvantage of burning fossil fuels for energy? The choices are A. They are a renewable resource. B. They are too expensive to find. C. They release greenhouse gases and pollutants. D. They do not produce much energy. The correct answer is C. They release greenhouse gases and pollutants. Burning fossil fuels coal, oil, natural gas releases large amounts of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change, as well as other air pollutants. Fantastic job! You completed the science quiz. Give yourself a big round of applause. Comment your score and keep exploring the world of science. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time for more science fun. Check out other videos from BrainWise.